So we're back at the Hoosier Garage, well at least on the channel, and we are pulling into a, let's just say it's a special new place. This will be the new Hoosier Garage. out we got to our destination there's our van there's my shadow here's our garage the horse trailer is not ours the former owner of the house that we just bought is picking it up tomorrow but this is our new digs right here welcome to the cornfields of rural Indiana and uh, not only do we have this garage Noah come here Come here. Come here. There we go. We have this, uh, it's an old pole barn. This is much, much older than this place. Uh, best I can figure, this is probably built in the late 80s, early 90s, and this has been here probably since the 50s, maybe older. Um, it's kind of a garage. We'll get into that in a minute and show you that, but we'll show you the inside of this and give you kind of an idea of what's going on, but we have much more space. Not only do we have these two bays, we have the workshop area, and then on this building there's a lean-to that we can put some stuff in there if we need to. So it's a really good situation here at the Hoosier Garage, and this is one of the reasons that we have been off the air, so to speak, for a while, because there's been a lot going on. Uh, we found this house, and we have been pursuing it, and there's been the surgery that I had, and all kinds of action. and. Um, yeah, so we'll just jump to the next thing and show you inside the garage. All right, so hey, we're gonna go in here. And here we go, here is our, our new digs. See, we've got ceiling fans. And there's a light over here. Let's see if we can get this one on. Somehow, somehow, or probably right here. There we go, and there was light. Yeah, do you like this? This is gonna be daddy's little play area. So here's our workshop area. Here's where we put one of the cars and obviously you can take a car out and have a bigger expanded workshop. This would be nice for working on, uh, to stand on with this concrete. Uh, we do have the obligatory crack on the floor. <laughs> Not as bad as one in the uh, Hoosier Garage number one. But that's what we got, we got uh, our fuse panel here, you know, all the good stuff. Some big connections there. I gotta check on him, you know. Two year olds, you gotta keep an eye on. So we'll take a quick look around the back here. I just got on the trampoline with him. But we got a bunch of firewood here for our fire pit. And uh, they use this for some kind of an exhaust pipe for a small stove in there. Uh, we might be able to pipe into that I don't know probably have to raise that hole up there though and uh look at the view I mean it's like other than the noise they're making all you hear is the highway off in the distance it's about a half a mile or so from here we have a little friend here hello so uh let me get the key out here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, so this, hey, there's a wall. It's almost like your own little apartment here. Kind of interesting. I think I might have an idea for this room for some Hoosier Garage special features. So stay tuned for that. And then we get this handy dandy situation there. And I believe we had a light there. So I think what this was back in the day, it was some kind of a stable, maybe for uh, livestock or something, because these little separate windows right here. And we have this gravel area, but over here we have concrete and there's our garage door. So if we have to uh, maybe, maybe use this as our temporary paint booth, we could use this and plastic it off. That way we don't interrupt what's going on in the other shop across the way. Uh, we've got a nifty little workbench here, which 
I don't know, maybe this. We might take it and use it as a project table in our other area, but I'll have to, I'll, I'll feel it out and see what we got. Um, some interesting things about this. We have a 1956 wall calendar. How's that? Pretty cool. We'll leave that there or at least preserve it. And looks like we'll have some storage space up there. Probably our big storage unit, uh, our big gondola that I use for car parts. We might bring it in here, maybe, uh, maybe put some kind of plywood over here and then roll it over there. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it all out as we kind of make ourselves at home here. And there's some stuff under there. I don't know. Cornhole? <laughs> it's like a small cornhole board. And that's what we got there. I think this belonged on the house. The house is like an 1880s or 1890s build. But let's walk around the back and you kind of get an idea. Sorry if you hear some wind noise. It's, we're kind of up high we're across these fields. The winds comes from the southwest. It blows across here. Here's an old uh, kind of a wood powered stove here. And basically I think what it does is it helps heat the water or something that goes into the house and causes it to warm, but they don't really use it. But we have all this firewood we can either use there or over at the, the fire pit. And then we've got a, here's our lean-to. Needs to be kind of smoothed out, but if we had to put an extra project car in here, keep it out of the weather, AKA maybe our satellite, then we could put it in here. So just tidy it up a little bit. Here's some of those openings that are you see from the inside for the, maybe the staple but they built this on and uh, I found an old picture of it I'll try to stick it in here of a farm aerial from the 70s and you can see the property and it's as if they had an airplane up there so it saves there and looking down this way and then you could see the old barn was beyond that chicken coop right there and you're looking at this angle and it was before the lean-to and we have disruption in the family but uh there's that and you pretty much just see farms my uncle and his family lived at that farm in the 70s and 80s i spent a lot of time there as a child so this is a little bit of a sentimental situation living here and this farm it was a farm it's not a farm anymore but all this down in the corner there's a road there and a road here this was all farm all the way behind it and i think at some point they decided to sell it off to the other farmer somewhere probably up the road so it's just this enclosed area see chicken so that is the new digs and probably what we'll do, we will get back on our projects, but with there being in a new area and it hasn't been set up quite for an automotive situation, we'll go back to the garage by the way. We'll have to spend some time kind of uh, retrofitting it or adapting it to fit our needs. But I'll kind of give you an idea what we would like to do We'll probably do drywall. That's kind of the way I'm leaning, all the way around. Um, this probably come out. And we have a way to do some storage up there, so we'll probably leave that, but we'll try to do some drywall. We might add a couple windows with some security features. There's a little guy. And maybe put in a metal roof or metal ceiling, like what's on the outside. Take all this out. And hey, look, we got some, we got some wire. That's cool. And we've got some, awesome, we've got wire connectors. Free of charge, right? So we'll have that, we'll clean all this up. We'll probably put us a new toolbox over here, our old workbench here, and uh, some of our other things that you're maybe used to seeing in the old garage. Look, we got a, we've got a Wilton. That's awesome. 
This might be slightly bigger than the one I got, and it doesn't have a big crack down it, too. So that's good. That's good. I mean, what can we say? And we're going to build a sandblaster, and if it doesn't fit here, we might put it over there. That's kind of what's going on. Much more space. We can get more cars inside. Uh, we don't have the shuffle situation like we have at the Hoosier Garage number one, where you have if you've got to get a car out, you got to shuffle everything. This is a, this is a rural situation, dudes and dudettes, because we can we can just put a car over here. We can get it out of the way. We can pull it out of the garage. Let me come over here to get you out of the back lighting. And uh, I'm just excited to death. We'll get all these limbs cleaned up, and so on and so forth. But I mean, you got a double bay side by side. We can just park something here and it not be in the way. We could put it right there. We'd like to put the van inside. I'm not sure, I'm actually kind of curious if we can fit it here. It might be a little, might be a little tight. We may not be able to fit it there, but if we really, really had to, I'm sure we can do something. But uh, I know it'd go there if we level that out. We'll probably do a series like we've done on the duster and the van. We'll probably have to do a series on garage doing our garage up and how to, to be organized and i've been working on that also while we've been waiting on this to close and anticipating and getting excited about that so we'll get into some organizational things cleaning up maybe doing something with this it's a little bit of a lift on that so that makes it a little difficult to just grind it down and fill it but it's not as bad as what i got out there it gets a little rough here so we're not sure about that and uh just a lot of cleaning I have to put some wall up i want a really nice clean situation where you don't have a lot of knick-knacky tools sitting out uh collecting dust so we're gonna have the uh we're gonna have a toolbox like a big garage toolbox type situation put stuff in have a place for everything uh I used to work at Snap-on, and we did 5S, 6S, all that kind of stuff. So everything was about cleanliness, making everything available within reach or within a, uh, an organized fashion. So we'll probably do a series on that, and it'll include things like our sandblaster that we want to build out of an old uh, furnace oil tank. So if you're interested in seeing a big sandblaster that's made homemade, we're going to jump into that. Uh, the toolbox and maybe putting some cabinets up in here, maybe adding a window. So I'm going to jump off here. I'm getting long winded. We need to get some stuff unloaded. I brought some things out in the van. So like I said, comment below, like, subscribe if you're interested in this. And we'll see you next time on the Hoosier Garage.